Hi guys. Now, I know you're probably thinking that I've done a lot of these packing videos, but people seem to like them. So I'm going to do another one. And this time it's going to be more on the basis of a kind of how-to video. Because normally I know I show you just what I'm packing, whether it's for a weekend break, whether it's for a bit longer. And this is a tiny bit shorter than our last weekend break. Obviously, we went on a long weekend last time for five days. The time before that, we went to Amsterdam for, I think it was three days or four days. But this time, it is just for two nights and three days. So I'm thinking it can be even more extremely minimal packing than normal. Obviously, if you saw my last video, I took just a kind of black carry purse. It was a bit squashed and a bit full. And I did mention in a previous video, which is why I swapped it for this. This is new. I got this for my birthday. It still has a tag on it. I've been saving it for this occasion. So I'm going to take this just so that it's a tiny bit bigger so that I don't have to squash things quite as much. I am probably going to be taking even less. And I'm really going to discuss about the mentality behind how I pack so minimally because I think it really is just a smaller case scenario of how to be a minimalist or an extreme minimalist. For instance, I apply the same rules really to when I'm packing as I do when I'm actually thinking about decluttering my possessions. And if, if anything, it's easier because all in the back of my mind the whole time, I'm saying to myself, it's only two days. How much do you really need to take? For instance, when we last went to Nice a month or so ago, we only went for four days and yet we took us we took a small backpack because we thought that that was what we need in reality we probably didn't even need that much so i'm even myself constantly learning that you really do need littler less than you actually always think that you do and we were actually really shocked when we were there because there was a couple that actually got in the airport taxi with us and even though they were going for the exact same holiday as us, they took what I would consider to be, in fact, it was light looking over there because it's where my suitcase is still waiting to be decluttered. They took for three days. I just couldn't believe it. They took larger than my biggest suitcase, the suitcase that you've all seen that packs all the belongings that I own inside it. I think that that is about maybe 70 litres, that suitcase. And I reckon they took about an 80, 90 litre suitcase. Basically, they took the largest one that you're allowed on an aeroplane. And they took that each, not just share, not just sharing. And we were just like, me and my partner were just thinking, oh, wow, what do they actually think that they need for like four days? Anyway, aside from that, we did find it fascinating. But that is the basis of what I'm also thinking about all the time when I'm packing, thinking how much do we really, really need when we go away? Now, I know there are exceptions where if it was perhaps a, a very adventure based holiday, you definitely might need different changes of clothes. For instance, if your clothing was going to get wet or dirty, if it was a very dressed up holiday, then you may feel that you need to take an evening change of clothes as well as, you know, a daytime pair of clothes. But I'd, I think that unless it is something like a cruise or a very, very yeah extravagant place, in general, people wear streetwear in a lot of cities. So if it is a city break, I think in general, you're pretty much OK to have the same clothes on as you do on an evening. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for myself, it's back at home. I will wear the same outfit that I've got on all day. I don't get changed on an evening now i know that's part of some people's holidays especially when they go on beach holidays they'll have been wearing something like shorts through the day and then they want to wear a dress and get dressed up for the occasion on an evening but i think with city breaks you're pretty much safe to say you can wear the same outfit every day so i have that in my mind before i start packing i also have how many days i'm going for for underwear in my mind and i like to just think right how much more do you really need now obviously i I don't wear much makeup anyway, so I know I don't need to take much makeup. And that is about it. That's about it. That's all I ask myself before I pack, before I want to pack minimally. Think about how much you really need, how much you would really have at home. And keep in the back of your mind that is it really going to be that bad if you get there and you haven't taken that one item that you wish you'd taken 
I'm sure you will manage and as an absolute last resort, if you have forgotten something, I'm sure you could go out and buy it. And you know, if you keep it to less than 100 milliliters, say if it's a makeup item, sorry about the seagull noises guys, you can bring that item back and it's not gonna get wasted. So I don't think we have to worry too much about what we need to pack. It's not gonna be the end of the world if we forget something. And I think the key is pinning down exactly what you want to wear and think about what you're going to be doing on the days that you're going to be there. Because if, if you start to allow choice when you're on holiday, that is when your items and clothing starts to add up. For instance, if you just think, oh, I'll take those, so I've got a choice when I go. Don't do that. That's, that's the number one mistake, I think. You need to pinpoint what you're going to wear each day as well as you'll start taking choice and then that amounts to a lot of stuff. And especially if you're going on the type of city break we're going on where you have to get off the ferry, that's where we're going again, and carry your stuff around with you. It's really going to spoil your holiday. So while I'm on, I'm on the subject, yes, we're going back to Amsterdam on a ferry trip. And this time it's because we saw a very, very cheap deal. And when I say cheap deal, I mean cheap. It was £50, which I even got the exchange rates for you guys. It is this much in dollars and this much in euros so very very cheap that's including the crossing it's including breakfast it's includes it including the, the night in a cabin it's including the excursions into amsterdam center so obviously all we all need is our spending money so it's very cheap and the reason we decided we were going to go back is we had so, so much fun as a couple last time that we decided we were going to as a larger group and take our friends so this is what I am packing. Obviously, I will have one outfit on when I go. I'm going to take jeans because jeans are just universal. I think they can look good in everything. And this time, I'm not even taking slightly smart footwear because what I know about Amsterdam is that in general, it is very relaxed, very dressed down. And last time, my partner and I, we walked 18 miles. So this is what I'm talking about. Talk, think about the kind of things you'll be doing. I'm taking my trainers because I want to be comfortable. That's why I got the beige trainers so that at least they could be a little bit dressed up. Luckily beige goes with everything. I have got a black pair of jeans because I think that they are universal and will match even more than regular jeans. So let's see what I'm going to pack. Let me go snip this tag off of here and I'll be right back with you. What I did actually really like about this bag is it does actually split in two. I can carry it as a backpack or I can carry it across my front, which it seems to be the kind of in trend at the moment. And I've got a front pocket for things like my passport and then an inside for all my larger items. So in here, it's even got inside pockets. So let's start with the clothing. So I'm only taking two t-shirts because I will be going in one outfit and because these are elasticated bottoms I am going to range roll them for you guys. If ever it doesn't fold over at the end it just means that you need to turn more over because it's not as elasticated as you would like. is top number one. So in we go. It's actually bigger than you think because it's got all the base of that bag. That is going to go in there like so. And I'll give you one close up at the end. And let's do top number two. are a very good thing for packing minimally as well so this is another little tip if you stick to some things that are perhaps are cotton so they're easier to wash while you're away but also slightly with the tiniest bit of elastic in it will make them not crease as much if you also range your roll them it will make them not crease as much as well by the way guys the seagulls are getting a bit hectic at the moment because they're getting spring fever so i'm afraid you're going to be hearing lots of seagulls 
in my videos because there is nothing I can do about them. <laughs> And I take this for my laundry and while my underwear is clean, I take it in there to go like this. So that is to symbolise where my underwear will be going, which is next to there. And I'm going to be taking one pair of socks because I'll be going in a pair of socks and you'll see what I'm going to be doing next. So... So that I can just wash a pair of socks, I will be taking my Dr. Bronner's. Then I'm taking my tea tree oil for my deodorant. <clears throat> my tinted moisturiser and my mascara. I'm just trying to keep my bag absolutely as light as possible because we will be walking around and I don't want it to be heavy because last time we went, what I did learn is even though I took my smallest backpack and even though I still packed minimally, it was a little bit too heavy. I'm definitely thinking about weight as much as physical space. So that is all I'm taking there. So that can go in front. And I have my toothbrush. And I have my straighteners. I just took that plug away. I do have my international travel plug, which also fits in that top of that bag with that. But we actually use that in the in the bathroom for our little salt rock lamp. So that'll be getting packed the night before. Let me just rejig that around. socks right in this little space I've got at the end and the straighteners down there will the toothbrush fit in there I think the toothbrush will fit in there so we'll put a toothbrush in there be another little pocket for other things but I'm not going to put anything that's really important in there because it hasn't got a zip it's only got this little clip what I'm actually going to put in there is our paperwork and our passports they may have to be folded paperwork and passports And there we have it. I've even got a little pocket there. And let me have a look. I think that that weighs... Ooh. I think that that actually weighs less than a kilogram. Less than a kilogram, I can just under a kilogram just don't want to be bothered, I want to be able to go and enjoy my day walking around Amsterdam. So just to recount how to pack minimally, how to pack as minimally as possible for a short trip, obviously I could do a longer version of these at one point, is to really think about what the culture and the place is like that you're going to, whether you really need that change of evening wear. If you want to wash some of your items, take a little Dr Bronner so you can wash an item out. How you pack so this so things don't get wrinkled. Choose what you're going to wear each day before you go so you're not taking choice because that adds up to more. And really think about how much skincare or makeup you really need for something as little as two days. I don't think it's going to, you know, ruin your skin if you're somebody that loves skincare. 
if you just don't do it for two days like i'm going to take my dr bronner's to wash any makeup i've got off my face and sometimes you know you look at in the hotel that you're in they'll have some kind of body lotion or moisturizer anyway i, d I really don't think it is going to hurt just to not do that for two days if you're somebody that really really wants to take a moisturizer i suppose one tiny little bit of moisturizer isn't going to break the bank so those are my those are my tips for how to pack minimally and thinking about how you pack it using every bit of space as well and you can see how small that bag is so thank you for watching bye <laughs>